Hello and welcome to another part of our glorious adventures, right? Yeah, let's see. I think we still have to visit a couple places. Not just three alive. Oh yeah, Maker's Chronicle. Have to look around and then... Book of the Dead, sure. Hey, folks. I'm not really interested in your asses, and I think uh, this uh, map thing is only highlighting the main quest, right? I can do this. Maker's Chronicle, sure. Now maybe it will let me uh, use it. Lost Temple, I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, here, actually. It's on this level. Well, at least I will get help with this quest, right? That's already not terrible, and uh, let's turn around and see. Uh, somewhere to the side. And up we go, and round over here. Hello. I need you, dear Chronicle. Maker's Chronicle. The Maker's Chronicle is the recorded history, lore and culture of the beings known as Makers. The epic narrative carved in this stone captures uh, the spirit of the Maker people. Okay. I think that's it, right? No, I just have to hit this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really don't think I will collect all of these pieces. Probably not. I mean, who knows, but that's highly unlikely. So, now we can return, right? Return uh, to where exactly? Back to this place? Maybe not. Oh, it's here. Yeah. Fine, then we'll just uh, fast travel to Fjord. And... hello? And just the way around and through the water, uh, gonna fight these idiots. Yeah. Or actually swim alone. For the moment being. Here you can't really swim mounted in horse. Yeah, and that's uh, he's still here. Yeah, as you can see, they're kind of the same, so uh, easy to get wrong. Who do you have to report to? So that chronicle. Here is your history, Oren. The chronicle. At last, it is though the very souls of the makers remain close to us through this tablet. You understand, I'm sure. <laughs> Death. You are not so cold as you would have us all believe. No. Keep that to yourself, old one. Fine. That's some nice amount of uh, XP, right? Maybe. Now let's see. Maybe. Uh, no, I don't think that Ugrim will tell me. Where that uh, dungeon is located? This is no place for a horse. Oh, really? That kind of sucks. Maybe it's uh, this one actually. What do you think? It can be, actually. Yep. It is. So uh, there are four emblems. That means four chapters maybe and i've got one so uh let's see do i have to find anything Ooh, gold gold is nice 
probably not a lot of it, but you know. Okay. Can I open everyone? Yeah, it looks like all this room is mine. Skill point awarded. Yeah, appreciate it. Well, at least some of that was uh, nice. A few potions. I have to leave one, but you know. It's still not bad. I cannot. Yeah, but you can the different one. Yeah, like this one. Yeah. Some here. Then just decorational stuff. Don't want to miss anything, obviously. I don't think there is a point of getting there, and I don't even think that I can get there. So I'm kind of missing a out on. Oh, what's that? Can I grab it? Yes. Some hidden stuff. Nice. Blade Master Talisman. Of this amulet's creation and history, only rumors and legends exist. Many claim that the amulet once belonged to the enigmatic warrior known as Wicked Key. What is certainly true is the talisman power. Blade Master, as the Amrit came to be known, possesses uh, the knowledge and skills of a peerless warrior, a champion of the Southern's duels. The Amulet can impart some of this knowledge of war to its wielder. Well, I'll check it out, I suppose. Maybe better than mine. So, uh, yeah, that's crap comparison to my possessed stuff of level 8. <laughs> Probably will be eventually in need of replacing it, but for now, it will do. Health regen. Maybe. Critical damage and health regen. Yeah, by this point, uh, I mean uh, secondary characteristics, uh, which are boosted by Maker's armor set, are nice, but uh, basic defense is really uh, sucking. <laughs> It's not obvious what it's doing, actually. What do you mean, some of its knowledge? Maybe? I mean, that uh, ripping thing uh, is nice. But... Uh, kind of would be interested in checking out this as well. Oh yeah, and uh, it got me one more skill point, right? Well... Let's uh, cut this dungeon. Yep. And now we can uh, switch to this one skill point. When unstoppable is active, death is more likely to deal critical strike. I mean, yeah, sure. Let me see. Uh, this is partially done, and now we're going to the Tree of Life. Hollow. Fine, it's kind of misty. Maybe it's not uh, a smoke, but a water vapor or some other liquid is condensating here. And uh, oh, yeah, the tree itself actually in all its uh, glory, I suppose. Tree of life. Let's be careful. 
to not fall down from this path. And let's see what's going on. Well, yeah, here we go on foot. Uh, yes, the Tree of Life. Achievement unlocked and some skill points, maybe? Or at least experience. Oh, yeah, amazing. And so you have come, bearing your sin like a badge of honor. What do you seek, pale rider? The return of mankind. <laughs> to a barren planet shorn of life. Oh, humans are weak. Simple. They would not survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us, slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet. Who are you? I think you know. Once, you called me brother. Absalom. I have forsaken that name. Now, I am corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born. And soon, I will be all. The tree of life has fallen to my darkness. From withered root to fruitless limb. And even death himself will not escape it. You really think so? Well, we'll see. Is it a boss fight? <laughs> yeah, we'll see that too. What defines a soul? Some call it the spark within that fights the darkness, that burns for life itself. But what of death, who became the Reaper on the day he slaughtered the Nephilim? He killed his brother, his comrades, and Absalom. Death! Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. It belongs to those who take it! The eons have not answered the question. <laughs> Was it worth it? Brother. That one moment. We <laughs> got corruption. And crowned him Kinslayer. <laughs> the bitter victory could not be undone. Tree of Death. Amazing name, right? Ah, the Pale Rider. Isn't it odd that so many have come here by your hand? <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the Dead Kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the Tree of Life. I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the Tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the tree is what you seek, then you have arrived. That I have been betrayed. Mm, not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Mm, I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant's skill to grant your deepest desire. 
Tell me, Ryder. What do you seek? Hmm? I would redeem my brother. Restore the balance. Hmm. Yes, I have heard the tale. Your brother rode, though no call was given. And mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the well of souls. Well, first of all, what are you? You still haven't said what you are. The history of my people was burned to ash along with our world. Forgotten even by those who <laughs> destroyed them. Now, only the smoke remains. We were not the first, nor will we be the last. It is the way of things. The way of things is balance. And what balances life? Nothingness. <laughs> or corruption. Eventually, it consumes us all. So it would seem. None of this explains what you're doing here. I am merely a humble merchant with a taste for the finer things. In life and in death. I am Ostagoth, and it would amuse me to offer you my wares. Tree of life, tree of death, portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim, and from the Four. Why? Because power must be tempered with ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. I forsook the Nephilim, became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree, yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten, no. The Nephilim live on in you. Mm. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. Mm. What if I wish to return to the Forge Lands? The Tree of Life has many portals, Ryder. Some may help you retrace your path. Many portals are closed, but the ones to the Forge Lands remains open. Mm. Well, that's actually nice. The Well of Souls can restore humanity. And more. The Well channels the dead into this kingdom from every world, above and below. It is also how souls are brought back into creation when they are ready to be reborn. Browse to your heart's content. Mm hmm. So I have some cash. I'm not sure if I want to spend it at this point. It seems like uh, these uh, weapons levels are different from my hero's levels, or at least uh, I think I'm... well, maybe not, but anyway. So, uh, what do I have here? whole bunch of stuff. And not that amazing, I mean, look at it. It all has uh, lower defense, for example. This is a bit better. Some potions. Pretend that I believe you. Where should my search begin? You must scale the serpent's peak and summon the eternal throne. There the Lord of Bones slumbers. He will guide you to the well, or he will have your soul. Before you go, horseman, consider this. My people may be lost, but their relics yet remain. You may come across them in your travels. They are worthless to most, but valuable to me. Return them, and I will trade relic for coin. Yeah, sure. I think I can try at least. You know where to find me. 
Oh, well, it's not like thirty different relics, but pretty darn close. Well, maybe collectively it is thirty, but yeah. Well, let's go forwards. It's nice to know that I can actually go back. If I need to do that. Or if I would feel like doing that. Craglands. Hi guys. I don't think you're my friends, right? Right? Yeah, Leviathan Gorge. Yeah. Yeah. Just die. <laughs> yep. You're done, my friend. Well, kinda enemy actually. Let's look around. Chains, rocks, some kind of skeletons in the background. Probably just drawn. I don't think that's a model of any kind, but who knows. Probably just layered sprites. Uh, just one swing and the second one and you're done. Whatever. It's not gonna bother with uh, every one of you. There are some options, but first of all, maybe just go here. Okay, so I do need the other thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's much better. And uh, let's see. Higher. Okay. I can do that maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Well. Fine, I suppose. I kinda want to check it out still. So, uh, yeah, jump over here instead. Because we can always go down, obviously, but what's about this? Oh! Some kind of opening with a secret room of sorts. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I have at least one chest. That's nice. And I can see now that it has a couple more. Hmm. Well, right now I can't really do anything, right? Because it has these two barriers. And you have to push a couple of these to actually make it work. And there is like third one. And that's not unlockable, but it's a third one. Hmm. That's strange. I guess I need some kind of different technique or uh, artifact. Or a couple blocks that I could teleport here somehow. So I could leave them here while actually going anywhere around. Uh, at the top level. Well, bye. See you later, I assume. Hey. Huh. 
So that's how it works. <laughs> hmm. I probably need to go there to open it, but uh, how am I gonna do that? Wow! Now I'm here, and what? Where there is a lock, there is a key. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> you know. Well, let's see. Um. Hmm, hi. Just some kind of challenge, I suppose. <laughs> more statues, more of this. But it kind of goes around. Can I open this one? Huh. Oh. Okay. So that switches this. Fine. And here we have this bomb. Huh. And another one of those. Uh, Portal looking things. And it stays like this. Okay, well, let me get this, I assume. Yeah. Let's see, maybe I will need it on the other side. Oh yeah, that's why I need it. I need to trigger that uh, thing, because it's basically like an airlock. You can't have both things uh, opened. Well, can I reach it from this point? Maybe. Mm, nope. So, uh... Well, I guess since it's not exploding instantly, I can just uh, put another one and then shoot it from distance uh, to trigger it, like, sequentially. And uh, here, and now if I just switch to my revolver or whatever thingy, firearms, I supposedly will be able to do this. Yep. A key. Nice. Ooh, out of box. are done. That's fine. What is not fine is that now I have to get back somehow.
can I trigger it once again? Not really. Do we have some kind of switch over here? Can I grab it from that much afar? No, not really. Once again. If I just drop down to die, I don't think it will respawn me nearby enough. Can I slide through the wall? Huh, maybe, actually, yes. So, uh... uh wow, well, not like this. So, from some different point... Can see one thing. It looks like it made in a way to let you move around, but I don't think I can get it. I... Well, with this, yes, with this, I may be able to pull that off. Okay. And uh, just jump, maybe? Yeah, from the very top. So now it's done and I can get back. Well, that's the next part. I'm kind of still interested how to do that part, that part way back, but I'm not sure I can do that with this sort of part arrangement, right? Well, then we're just going ahead, if I can pass that uh, puzzle behind us.